are talking Bright Hill Road. This is kind of a slightly different type of horror movie, but in a lot of ways, but has a lot of kind of familiar elements. It's directed uh, by Robert Cuffley and uh, stars Sh uh, Siobhan Williams and Michael Eklund. And the story is of this um, this woman who is an uh, alcoholic. Now, she works as a HR representative in some company and she sacks someone who ultimately then goes postal and commits like a mass shooting in her place of work. And she is... Well, she was drunk whilst she was at work, essentially, and ultimately you'll let her believe, well, she sat, you know, did she sack this guy, uh, which she shouldn't have done, things like this. So she's given a leave of absence, and uh, she wants to go and kind of visit her sister, who lives on the other side of the country. So she ultimately tr wants to travel over and see her, but in the way she kind of stops off at this hotel on Bright Hill Road. And when she's there, she seems to be initially the only guest... And there's kind of like an overly friendly kind of clerk, I suppose, at the front desk. Um, and kind of weird things start to happen. She kind of starts to experience strange phenomena, like she's an alcoholic and drinks keep appearing in her room and things like this. And uh, she's hearing things, seeing things. We then get another guest appear, this guy, who seems to be uh, a little bit... So we say um, interested in her for one way or another, and things get progressively worse from there. Now, I don't want to say too much about it. Suffice it to say, there is paranormal elements here, but it's primarily a psychological horror film with questions about kind of guilt, um, morality, self-worth, things like this. So what do we think? What can I say in the positive column here? I think the acting is quite good in this movie, if I'm honest. Um, our central female protagonist is a somewhat unlikable character by design. But nonetheless, I still think the movie manages to make you root for her, which is quite interesting. And how she kind of deals with things, I feel, is, uh, you know, you kind of feel like maybe you would think the same way a lot of the time. Like, for example... There's instances where she starts to kind of steal this. She's experiencing weird things and she wants to get out. More than once, she tries to kind of leave this hotel with this, some type of forces that will prevent her from leaving. But it kind of makes sense because you think, I would. Why doesn't she just leave? And that's exactly what happens. The movie also does a good job of kind of not really telegraphing where it's going to go. Uh, I think the movie's ending is very strong. I'll say that. It has a strong ending that kind of makes sense and I felt was quite satisfying. But it doesn't really telegraph it. I mean, you know something strange is, kind of ha is happening and it almost has a kind of David Lynch sort of style feel to it. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you get to the ending, and I thought, wow, that was actually, you know, it, it kind of makes sense. It's kind of like a little bit of a twist, but it doesn't really feel like it's just, you know, it's not a twist that doesn't come out of anywhere. It kind of makes sense in the context of the film. I thought that was quite, that was quite well handled and obviously quite well written. Um, the movie as well does have a couple of fairly good jump scares, uh, some quite good kind of like horror, very quick horror elements to it. I mean, we don't, we don't see anything particularly uh, graphic on scene, but then we do see some... Very quick scenes of, of kind of horror elements here, and, and the, again, they were kind of quite well handled. And the the beginning scene as well, where um, we have this uh, guy doing this kind of mass shooting, that was again, it was quite brutal and quite shocking. Uh, it wasn't played in in a kind of a, a, a glib way, and you know, you felt the impact of it. So that was all quite good. What didn't I like? So this is a movie where. I can say, I can I can critically say, I think there's some good things about it, but I personally didn't find it all that entertaining, if that makes sense. So I can I can say, I I can see the things that are good here, but for me, it's not to my taste. And and, and kind of why I say that, I like the beginning, I like the end, but I felt for me, the the kind of like the the, the the beginning ten percent, the last ten percent, I really I really like, but the eighty percent in the middle, which takes up obviously the bulk of the film, 
seems to be the same kind of thing uh, through the whole movie. These, this woman experiencing uh, paranoia, um, hallucinations, things like this, and kind of driving her slowly kind of crazy whilst uh, her giving in to her own personal demons. And the movie does a good job of, of taking you on that voyage. But for me, I felt it was it was a bit kind of it was just a bit, it's just a bit dragging me along for the ride rather than kind of taking me with it. I felt like God, oh, I just kind of want it to get kind of get to the point now. Now, like I said, I think the end does a lot to kind of make up for what I think was um, somewhat interesting, but it went on for too long. Kind of eighty percent middle section, if that makes sense. But like I said, I think this could be a, a case of it just not being to particularly to my taste but i think i think it does the, the film does a, what it what it wants in regards to showing you the kind of the mental degradation of this woman and that's what it's trying to do it's trying to show you how this woman is breaking down but to me i didn't find it particularly entertaining however there are a couple of things still that i kind of like bothered me a little bit i thought the the, the role of this uh single hotel employee was a little unnatural. Now, obviously, we see strange stuff kind of happening, and this is what ultimately alerts our kind of main character there's something going on. But even the way this kind of hotel clerk was acting was so unnatural and so kind of in your face. Uh, I, I can't believe it, a character uh, wouldn't kind of comment on that, wouldn't kind of think, this is a bit strange. You don't really seem like you're, you know, you're a, you're, you're a hotelier or something. You just seem like you're right up in my business and things like this. And it was never really addressed in the film. I just felt it kind of seemed a little unnatural. Now, I'm not. There are some kind of supernatural things going on, but to me, that to me would have uh, would have caused some pushback from our kind of our, our central character, who although is an alcoholic, is, is clearly not an unintelligent kind of character. Uh, so that was kind of um, um, you know also a little bit of, of kind of an annoyance for me. I think sometimes some of the visual styling is goes for a little bit of a kind of strange um surreal tone uh, and it kind of like you feel like it's being arty for arty's sake at, at, at certain points within the movie um michael eckland I, I actually quite like as an actor i've seen him in loads of films he's one of these actors that you, you you'll recognize the face and you'll see him in especially b movies but I don't know if I think he did a particularly good job with this role. Um, his character, although again, it makes sense in the end, but I, I didn't think his character was particularly... Um, well, he's, he, he doesn't have a huge amount, doesn't have as much screen time as our female protagonist, but it's, he's not really all that fleshed down. He seems more of a caricature in a way. Um, there are some kind of supernatural things as well that I don't know I really understood why they were there. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil it for you, but um, suffice to say, we see some imagery and we see how people see themselves and they seem to be fine with it, is all I'm saying. Um, overall, I think this is a good film. I personally wouldn't want to watch it again. I, I, I actually found it quite boring at times, to be honest with you. But I do recognise uh, the movie does have some very good elements in there. I think maybe it would appeal to other people more than maybe it would appeal to me. So I will, I will give it an average, uh, sorry, an above average mark at a six out of ten. But for me, um, although I like to have some elements here, I actually found the movie a little bit hard to sit through because it didn't really. Uh, I felt, I felt like it didn't get to its destination fast enough, or just kind of lingered a little bit too much um, on areas in the movie. Although what it does do, I think it, is, it does with the intention of doing it and does it well. So six out of ten. Bit of a confused review for me, there you go. 6 out of 10, what did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.